Today we're gonna take a look at 3D Code and its latest update of 2023. But more importantly, I want to talk about 3D Code in general and why you should give it a try. 3D Code is an extremely powerful software that I feel like it's not getting as much love as I think it deserves. First of all, it's not subscription based and it can do virtually anything you want a 3D software can do and in some instances, it can do it even better. But for some reason, I rarely see people talking about it. Other than a few artists, I feel like the software is like an underground software that only a select few are using. But today, we're gonna try and helpfully change that. Because this is what this video is all about. Why you should use 3D code. And for transparency, this video indeed is a sponsored video by Pilgway, the developers behind 3D code. We're gonna talk about their latest release of the software, but in no way is anything said in this video something we don't actually believe. If you are a non 3D code user, or if this is your first time hearing about it, stick around till the end because what this software can do will at least make you go, hmm, this is interesting. And right off the bat, let's talk about some 3D code's major features. Something that comes to mind instantly when talking about this software is sculpting. Although it is a versatile tool that can do virtually anything, there are things that 3D Code excels at, like sculpting and retopologizing. If you have never used 3D Code for sculpting before, this might come as a surprise to you. But a lot of professionals prefer using 3D Code for sculpting instead of ZBrush. That's right, 3D Code offers a powerful sculpting workflow, in addition to many tools, solutions, brushes, and even a little something called voxel sculpting, and a ton of auto retopology tools that should make any artist's day better. And don't just take my word for it, many artists who try 3D code always echo the same sentiment, and it's always along the line, the software is the most pleasant experience I have ever had with any 3D software to date. One user wrote on Reddit questioning, how come this software is so unknown? Again, his words, not mine. And everywhere I looked, I always find people surprised that this piece of software isn't as popular as it is, or that it's not getting the love it deserves. Now, on the other side, a lot of people argue that the reason why 3D code doesn't have the notoriety it deserves is because of multiple factors, but one in particular that people like to criticize 3D code for is its interface. Me personally, I don't agree with that. 3D Code's interface and UX in general isn't the worst I've seen, not by a long shot. Personally, my time with 3D Code was enjoyable, and I can go as far as to say it was one of the best experiences delving into a new software personally. And yes, it does have some stuff that you won't get immediately, but that goes for any software for the most part. And generally speaking, I would say the learning curve isn't steep. And to prove that, let's take for example the retopology workflow. 3D Code has both manual and automatic retopology. For the manual workflow, you can easily draw guides using the stroke tool. And I cannot say good enough things about this tool. This can probably be one of the most powerful tools in any 3D artist retopology arsenal. While all the tools have their advantages and shortcomings, for instance, the point and quad tools are able to produce one vertex at a time and the strokes allow you to sketch and guide your topology. When you are happy with that, you just hit enter and a mesh is generated following your sketch, which was mind-blowing to me when I first saw it. On the other hand, you can take advantage of the auto retopology feature, which yields extremely impressive results. And for even better results, you can draw guides using the aforementioned strokes tool, which helps guide the topology and in some cases, give out meshes identical to manual retopology, which is impressive. This can yield the best results when talking about organic and character modeling or when it comes to hard surface models, which makes the system reliable. So any 3D asset artist should try 3D code retopology system at least once in their life. Of course, this does not even scratch the surface when it comes to retopology, but this should give you an idea of how powerful the system is. Also, 3D Code offers one of the most powerful sculpting workflows out there, with the main star of the show being Voxel Sculpting. 3D Code also offers multiple versions for specialized usage aside from the main 3D Code package. 
So 3D Code Textura is a version of the software tailored for professional 3D texturing and rendering at a more affordable price. This can be a great texturing solution. And the new 3D Code Print, which is a free version of 3D Code tailored made for 3D printing. And finally, the immense and extensive PBR library, which has a ton of PBR scanning materials and what feels like infinite PBR samples in different resolutions up to 8K, all at your fingertips. In the latest 2023.1 release, the software saw a lot of improvements in a lot of areas, especially in the modeling department, with a ton of sketching tools improvements and new stuff like multi-level resolution, three-leaf generator, time-lapse recorder, auto UV mapping, surface mode improvements, as well as power smooth paint tool while in which your color, modeling workspace improvement, and enhancing the import and export features. For instance, the developers introduced this new system for a multi-resolution workflow, and it is a huge improvement over the old system. It differs from the previous legacy system in the way it can generate and store both higher and lower levels of subdivision better than just using proxy meshes, which is very powerful, especially when switching between multiple subdivision levels of details. One of the benefits of this approach is that you can jump between the different resolution levels seamlessly, and the different resolutions are essentially applied to the same mesh, so any change in the pose will trickle down or up to the rest of the resolutions. One drawback, however, is once you use the multi-level resolution, you're gonna lose the dynamic resolution brush capability. Also, another very interesting feature is the ability to generate leaves on trees using the tree's generator tools. Unlike before, you can now add your own leaf types, sculpt the shapes yourself, and export everything as an FBX file. Next, we have a time-lapse recorder, which is exciting now, and you can record your sculpting sessions with a smooth camera movement. The recording won't record every second, but it will use different intervals to speed up the process. Talking about speeding up the process, surface mode saw a lot of improvements, mainly the subdivision of surface mode meshes, which has been sped up significantly and I quote, five times at least, which will allow you to subdivide the models to even <clears throat> 200 million with a capital M. Furthermore, there is a huge enhancement for the auto UV mapping. Even objects from the same sculpt can be unwrapped separately on their own. And the quality of the mapping itself is improved as well, which will result in less island creation, in addition to much shorter seams and better packing overall. And with the latest update, now 3D Code supports VDM, which stands for Vector Displacement Maps. You can think of these as a 3D alpha but cooler. You can now create VDM automatically in 3D code on the fly with the help of the pick and paste instrument. So you can sample any geometry and save it as a VDM and reuse it on any model you want. In addition to a ton of other improvements like ASINs to mapping, improved UVs, better snapping in the viewport, improved hotkeys engine, UI and render improvements, and a long list of retopology improvements in addition to other stuff which you can read all about and try 3D code for free by clicking the link under the like button. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.